hello again and welcome back to my channel guys oh i am so excited you don't believe what happened they arrived they are finally here and i am so excited you don't know what i'm talking about right i am talking about trolls they finally arrived at my channel and I am so excited about it, I can't tell you how much. There is people saying that you cannot do laser engraving or laser burning, cutting, whatever you call it, with a CO2 laser. It has all been done before and you really have no chance and all that stuff will come off or most of the stuff will come off as soon as you give it a good wipe with acetone so guess what guess what i bought look here ah let me get it in focus for you acetone cleaner and there is our piece that we already did before and get got some quite nice results and what we will do again with you guys as my witnesses we will give it another try and i will try to cut it no i will try to engrave it with a nice logo and then we all together can decide whether this can easily be rubbed off with a good wipe of acetone or not so um, I put my laser to the maximum output power, so that is roughly about 130 watts of peak. And I've got a nice little logo prepared. Dimensions are just tiny 17 by 17 millimeters. And the only reason for that is that I still do have some problems with my lens. And yeah, uh, funny enough, uh, one of the trolls already told that uh, I would ruin my lenses with engraving or cutting stainless steel. But the fun thing is I didn't cut or engrave any of the stainless steel material I have laying around for quite a while. Because I was busy with doing like plywood cutting and all that stuff. And so I've got another video prepared that I will upload very soon and I managed to ruin at least five lenses, all kind of different lenses and I can very clearly point out that it's not only uh, the material you are cutting that ruins your lenses, there are quite few factors that do have very nice influence of your lens. And yeah, so let's turn on uh, the noise. Laser is going to the calibrate position. You won't see it for a while. I will just initialize the laser cutter and unlock the rail and get the laser head in position. I will not use any kind of air assist today and I will just use the plain laser itself on its maximum settings and you can decide whether it's engraving or not is that a fair deal because i mean just just to be clear um let me get that one in focus so you see that nice guy um, I can I can tell you that this guy and I, I get it even closer so I'm sorry for the delay let me get it there you go can you see that and no one of you guys will believe me that this one is lasered with the K130 laser because it's impossible and just a plain wipe of acetone We'll get all the good stuff away from it. Yes, I know. So we will do another laser cutting logo thing and just use a very tiny little logo because of the thing with our nice lens and you can decide on your own. I just tell you 
uh, this, and I won't get out of focus again. This, this sheet of paper, uh, this sheet of stainless steel, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually bent where the laser hit the material. So I, I don't really understand how you would be able to just wipe a bend away with just some acetone, but you know how trolls work. They all know better because they, ne they know someone who knows a friend who has heard from a cousin that used to have a laser and tried it once again and then failed. And this is the reason why it's absolutely impossible. You know what I'm talking about? Great, because I don't. In three, two, one, go. So let's see what happened. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. And now, let's see what happens if I give it a good wipe with acetone. So, I position it somewhere here. Get it in focus once again. There you go, in focus. And, here's my acetone. Good wipe. I don't know about you, but I can still see it, even if it's wiped off with acetone. So, with this out of the way, I think I need to get you guys up to speed in regards of what happens if I use a little bit of air assist on the system and I will be back with you in just a second so see you so here now let's see what happens if we just try to mark some nice circles I will turn on the oxygen and with the cut button off. Let's have a look. Oh, this is front side and that's the back side. And you now tell me, I, I don't know, but how do you wipe off that with acetone? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Yeah, that's it for today. Thanks a lot. Have a great time. See you soon.